Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. If you are watching our channel for the first time, please click on the subscribe button and bell icon to receive new updates from us. Today, I am going to explain 7th class chapter 1 integers properties of integers. See first one properties of integers under addition. So first one is closure property. For any two integers that is a and b is an integer then a plus b is also an integer. So let us see example now. 6 plus 3 how much? 9. So 6 and 3 are two integers. Their sum means 9 that is also an integer. See next one minus 10 plus 2. Minus 10 plus 2. If you subtract what answer we are going to get? Minus 8. So minus 10 and plus 2. Both are two integers. The sum is minus 8. That is also an integer. Look at this example. 7 plus of minus 6. So 7 minus 6 how much? 1. 7 minus 6 are two integers. The sum 1 is also an integer. See minus 2 plus minus 3 equals to minus 5. Minus 2 minus 3 are two integers. The sum is minus 5. That is also an integer. See now second one commutative property under addition. For any two integers a and b, a plus b equals to b plus a. Let us see the example. Statement 1. 4 plus 3 equals to 7. So a plus b value is 7. Now b plus a we have to check 3 plus 4 that equals to 7. In both cases we got answer same. Therefore the conclusion a plus b that is 4 plus 3 equals 2. B plus A that is 3 plus 4. We got answer 7. Now let us see one more example. Minus 9 plus 2 that equals to minus 7. 2 plus minus 9 that equals to minus 7. A plus B or B plus A we got same answer that is minus 7. Therefore conclusion is 2 plus minus 9 equal to minus 9 plus 2 that equals to minus 7. That is A plus B equals to B plus A. Both cases we got same answer that is minus 7. See now associative property under addition. For any three integers a, b and c, a plus b plus c that equals to a plus b plus c. That means when we consider three integers, if we add first two integers, then add third integer or last two integers you add, then add the remaining integer. We get same answer. Now let us see the example. 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 2 plus 3 plus 4. Let us take left hand side that is LHS part. First solve the value in the brackets. Plus 2 plus 3 how much? 5. Add the integer 4. So 5 plus 4 how much? 9. Now let us take RHS part. Solve the value in the brackets. 3 plus 4 how much? That is 7. So 2 plus 7, 9. Therefore, LHS part that is left hand side that is equal to RHS that is right hand side part. Therefore, 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals to 2 plus 3 plus 4. See now fourth one, additive identity. For any integer A, a plus 0 equals to 0 plus A equals to A. For any integer, if you add 0, we get the same integer. Let us see example. 2 is integer here. We add 0 for it. So 2 plus 0 equals to 2. For 0, if you add 2, 0 plus 2 then also 2. See another example. Minus 10 plus 0. That equals to 0 plus of minus 10. We get same answer that is minus 10. Therefore, we can say 0 is the additive identity of integers. See now fifth one additive inverse. For any integer a, there exists an integer minus a such that a plus minus a equals to 0. That means for any integer if you consider there exists one negative integer also. When we add both those integers we get answer 0. So here both the integers are called additive inverse of each other. Example 3 is there. 3 additive inverse is minus 3. When we add both of them we get answer 0. See here minus 10. Minus 10 additive inverse is plus 10. 
When we add both these integers, we got answer 0. See now second one, properties of integers under multiplication. In that first one, closure property under multiplication. If a and b are two integers such that a into b is also an integer. Now let us see the example. a into b, here example we have taken as 9 and 8. So 9 into 8, 9 8 is 72. So 72 is also an integer. See next example, 10 and 0 are two integers, their product 10 into 0 is 0. 0 is also an integer. See next example, minus 15 into 2. Minus 15 into 2 equals to how much? That is minus 30. Minus 15 and 2 are two integers, their product is minus 30, that is also an integer. See another example, minus 11 into minus 8. Minus 11 and minus 8 are two negative integers. That product, let us see, minus 11 into minus 8, that is 88. So, 88 is also an integer. So, what we understood by this? Therefore, integers follow closure property under multiplication. See, now second one, commutative property under multiplication. For any two integers, a and b, a into b equals to b into a. Let us see the example 5 into minus 2. 5 into minus 2 how much? Minus 10. That is a into b. We got answer minus 10. Let us check b into a. That is minus 2 into 5. Then also we got answer minus 10. So therefore what we can say? a into b. That is 5 into minus 2 equals to b into a that is minus 2 into 5 what answer we got minus 10 so therefore integers follows commutative property under multiplication see now associative property under multiplication for any integers a b and c a into b into c is equal to a into b into c that is Whenever we are multiplying three integers, either first two integers we multiply or last two integers we multiply, we get the same answer. Let us see the example 2 into minus 3 into minus 4 that equals to 2 into minus 3 into minus 4. Let us see the left hand side that is LHS part. First solve the value in brackets 2 into minus 3 that equals to minus 6 into minus 4. Minus into minus plus 6 fours are 24. Now solve the right hand side part. Solve the value in the brackets minus 3 into minus 4. Minus into minus plus 3 fours are 12. So 2 twelves are 24. Therefore, Left hand side part that is LHS is equal to right hand side part RHS. Therefore 2 into minus 3 into minus 4 equals to 2 into minus 3 into minus 4. Therefore integers follows associative property under multiplication. See now fourth one distributive property for any integers A, B and C a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. Now let us see the example minus 2 into 1 plus 3 that equals to minus 2 into 1 plus minus 2 into 3. Now let us solve this. So first we shall solve LHS part. So solve the value in the brackets now. Minus 2 into 1 plus 3 how much? 4. So minus 2 into 4. That is minus 8. Now let us solve the RHS part. Solve the value in brackets separately. Minus 2 into 1. Minus 2. Plus minus 2 into 3. Minus 6. So minus 2 plus of minus 6. That is minus 8. Therefore, LHS part is equals to RHS part. Therefore, minus 2 into 1 plus 3 equals to minus 2 into 1 
plus minus 2 into 3. Therefore, integers follows distributive property under multiplication. See now multiplication by 0. For an integer a, a into 0 equals to 0 into a equals to 0. If we consider any integer, if it is multiplied by 0, we get answer 0. Let us see the example. Negative integer minus 3 is multiplied by 0. We get answer 0. Minus 3 into 0 or 0 into minus 3, we get answer 0. See another example. Positive integer 9 multiplied by 0 or 0 into 9, we get answer 0. See now, multiplicative identity. For any integer a, a into 1 equals to 1 into a that equals to a. That means multiplying any integer by 1 doesn't change the value. Therefore, 1 is called as multiplicative identity. Let us see the example. Positive integer 2. 2 multiplied by 1 or 1 into 2 we got answer 2. That is same integer. Let us see another example. Negative integer minus 8 multiplied by 1. Or 1 into minus 8, we got answer minus 8. So, here the value doesn't change even after multiplying by 1. Therefore, 1 is called as multiplicative identity. See now third one, properties of integers under subtraction. In that first one, closer under subtraction. For any integers a and b, a minus b is also an integer. See the example 9 minus 7. 9 minus 7, how much we get? 2. So, 2 is also an integer. See now 7 minus 10. That we get answer minus 3. Here 7 and 10 are 2 integers. Their subtraction that equals to minus 3. That is also an integer. See next one minus 2 minus 3. Minus 2 minus 3 we get answer minus 5. Here minus 2 and 3 are integers. Their subtraction is also an integer. That is minus 5. Therefore, we can say that integers follow closer property under subtraction. See now, competitive property under subtraction. See the example a minus b that is 6 minus of minus 4. Minus of minus means plus. So, 6 plus 4 equal to answer 10. Now, see b minus a that is minus 4 minus of 6 that is minus 4 minus 6. That means we get answer minus 10. Therefore, both answers are not equal. That is A minus B not equals to B minus A. That is 6 minus of minus 4 is not equals to minus 4 minus of 6. Therefore, subtraction is not commutative for integers. See fourth one, properties of integers under division. See the first one, closer property under division. See the example minus 8 divided by minus 4. Minus minus cancel 4 table 8 2 times so we get answer 2. So this is A divided B we got answer as 2. Now let us see B divided by A that is minus 4 divided by minus 8. So minus 4 by minus 8 minus minus cancel 4 table 4 1s are 4 table 4 2s are 8. So we got answer half. Here A divided B is an integer. But B divided by A equals to half that is not an integer. Therefore, integers are not closed under division. Now, let us see commutative property. See now, A divided B equals to 2. B divided by A, that is minus 4 divided by minus 8. We got answer 1 by 2. These two values are not equal. Therefore, A divided by B not equals to b divided by a. Therefore, integers do not follow commutative property under division. See now third one, division by 0. For any integer a, a divided by 0 is not defined, but 0 divided by a equals to 0 for a value is not equals to 0. That means any number divided by 0 is not defined, but 0 is divided by any number, we get answer 0, where a value should not be equal to 0. For example, 0 is divided by 2, we get answer 0. 0 divided by 10, we get answer 0. That means 0 divided by any number, we get answer 0. But any number divided by 0 is 
undefined. See now identity in division. For any integer a, a divided by 1 equals to a. That means any number divided by 1, we get the same number. Therefore, 1 is called as identity in division of integers. Let us see the example. Minus 8 divided by 1. We get answer minus 8. Next example, 11 divided by 1. That equals to 11. That means we get the same integer. Therefore, 1 is called as identity in the division of integers. Now, let us see fifth one. Associated property under division. Let us see the example. A divided B divided by C. That is minus 16 divided by 4 divided by minus 2. That equals to A divided B divided C. That is minus 16 divided 4 divided minus 2. Let us solve this. So minus 16 divided by 4. 4 table 16 how many times? 4 times. Here minus is there. Add on minus 4. That divided by minus 2. So minus minus cancel. 2 table for how many times? 2 times. So we get answer 2 here. So left hand side we got answer 2. Let us see RHS part. Red on minus 16 divided by 2 table for how many times? 2 times. Here minus is there. Red on minus 2. Now divide this. Minus 16 divided by minus 2. Minus minus cancel. 2 table 16 how many times? 8 times. Here 2, LHS part is 2 and RHS part is 8. So both are not equal. Today what we have learnt is properties of integers under addition, multiplication, subtraction and division with examples. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel and support us. Thank you for watching.